Ultra Reddit Presence, What if, after you die, Satan asks you how was hell? Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that like button, and subscribe to our channel for more top Reddit stories every day. Too subtle, I had a lot of fun down there, like, more than would have been necessary for me to miss it. Yeah, that's always a tough balancing act, pretty much the only wrong answer is all suffering all the time. I did like the thing about the ruling class being all psychopaths and predators, oh that wasn't me, that was just natural selection, but I did make them perpetually unsatisfied no matter how much they had, that's diabolical, correct? This is actually what many early Christians, called Gnostics, believed, they believed that the Old Testament God Yahweh, who they called the Demiurge, not only created this universe, but that this universe is hell due to the incomprehensible amount of suffering that constantly occurs everywhere on this planet. Being that this is hell, naturally Satan is the lord of this world. They believe that he is either an agent of Yahweh, or that Satan and Yahweh are the same being. E, the creator of the universe is the devil, and that our spirits are trapped in an endless cycle of death and reincarnation. They also believe that Yahweh is an inferior being to the true God the Father, who incarnated himself as Jesus Christ in order to save humans from Yahweh slash Satan's grasp by giving us gnosis, or intense knowledge of our predicament, so that after death instead of being tortuously reincarnated, we may finally return home to the spiritual realm from where we came. Of course in Roman times, people rebelling against the creator of the universe was an extremely subversive and dangerous idea, which is likely the real reason that the Romans put Christ to death. People who don't submit to the creator of the universe certainly are not going to recognize the authority of any government or church, so the Gnostics were mercilessly persecuted by the Catholic Church and its governments throughout the Dark Ages until their ideas were almost wiped out forever. It wasn't until 1945 that the Nag Hammondy Library was discovered. Some thoughtful soul about 1800 years ago decided to bury a lot of Gnostic texts in the desert. It wasn't until the late 1970s that translations into English were completed, so we've really only known what the early Gnostics actually believed for a few short decades. They Unbearable. The only thing that would have made it worse would have been much more sex and money. Please don't make it do it again. With more sex and money. Well, the existential dread was a nice touch, but it kind of detracted from all the other tortures. Maybe use about half of the existential dread and really crank up the annoyance. A diverse flavor profile is key to every dish. Look Satan. I didn't do all the terrible stuff up there to spend eternity not getting sodomized with a sandpaper broken glass and hot sauce dildo, so strap up goat boy. I mean that surely is a positive right? Because no matter how good or crappy your life was that wasn't life or heaven but was hell which means the worst of the worst, therefore whatever you endured, it only gets better. If it was a terrible life, well at least that's the low point and won't get worse. If it was a good life then wow that was hell heaven must be great then. How much fucking time did you put into making it that miserable? They said there were two fathers, one above, one below, they lied, there was only ever the devil, and when you look up from the bottom, it was just his reflection, laughing back down at you. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch, I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al Qaeda, and I have over 300 confirmed kills, I am trained in guerrilla warfare and I'm the top sniper in the entire US armed forces, you are nothing to me but just another target, I will wipe you the fuck out with precision the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth, mark my fucking words, you think you can get away with saying that shit to me over the internet, think again, fucker. As we speak I am contacting my secret network of spies across the USA and your IP is being traced right now so you better prepare for the storm, maggot. The storm that wipes out the pathetic little thing you call your life, you're fucking dead, kid. I can be anywhere, anytime, and I can kill you in over 700 ways, and that's just with my bare hands. Not only am I extensively trained in unarmed combat, but I have access to the entire arsenal of the United States Marine Corps and I will use it to its full extent to wipe your miserable ass off the face of the continent, you little shit. If only you could have known what unholy retribution your little clever comment was about to bring down upon you, maybe you would have held your fucking tongue, but you couldn't, you didn't, and now you're paying the price, you goddamn idiot. I will shit fury all over you and you will drown in it, you're fucking dead, kiddo. Pretty we pretty good, honestly I fucked, danced, traveled, Played, loved, partied, smoked, snorted, injected, and lived a fucking pretty awesome life up until this point. It got dark but those times made me a better, more empathetic, reflective person. Hell was amazing. Hail Satan motherfucker. 
I personally believe that being incarnated in this organic flesh absolutely is hell. We are beings of light. Incarnated life is a lesson and a mission. When we've learned and accomplished what we must, we'll become pure, free light again. Cleverly designed. Based on most religious slash eschatological depictions of the netherworld I figured it'd be just an unsubtle non-stop parade of woes, which this wasn't. It was, of course, full of anguish for all the horrors around me about which I could do very little but pretty light on torture, physical or otherwise, per se. Every once in a while there was hope, which was then cruelly yanked away. But there were also kittens and ice cream and beautiful sunsets. Tricks? I guess so. I'm all honesty, I'd probably say something like Doody would have had me, if it weren't for this girl that I married. If the people in hell is being punished, you should really patch out the suicide mechanic as that's just an easy way out. But hey, you don't tell me how to run my life I'm not gonna tell you how to run yours. So you made me meet all these lovely people, have a small by great friend circle, provided me with all those lovely places to see, in hell, I agree not everything was great and there were many low points but I can appreciate the good moments enough to forget about the bad ones, so thank you, but god, thanks it's over. I started suspecting it wasn't real when Donald Trump was elected president, by the third year, I knew it. Hello Satan. It's a wonderful hell simulation you have built and I'm pretty sure your boss is going to love it. All the best with the presentation next week, thanks and regards. And then the worst part of all, you ask him about your family and friends in general despite living in hell. There were a few maybe even many who made it bearable. And then Satan tells you they're gone, they were not even real. And then you're forced to live a true hell, cause now you realize that hell had its few moments of heaven with the right people. But now that chapter is over, and there is no reduce. Satan, how was hell, me, not bad, I had a lot of ups and downs if you know what I mean. Satan, is that a masturbation joke, me, is Tihadama Estir Urbati on joke eh? Yes, yes it was, I know you saw me beating my meat like it owed me money, now show me to my room where Ito. I immediately dropped to my knees and opened my mouth wide saying anywhere without you is hell to me then I begin to slurp this hellcock with fury, gagging on it and feeling it throb in my mouth, you know the rest. I could never find the cool side of the pillow, but I learned to enjoy the complimentary dark chocolate laid on the bed in my quarters after a hell of a day. Five fifths would come again. Great service, I came on time and everything was set out nicely. Ran into a little trouble navigating the places but otherwise pleasant. I thought it was casual but everyone seemed a little uptight up the butt if you know what I mean poke. I might cry, knowing that everything that just happened wasn't supposed to be a happy thing, even though terrible things happen in life. I know that there are good things that make it worth it. I also don't know what I have done to be in hell either. That was a really creative troll level. Other super earth maker 2 creators could learn a lot from you. Making my family deal with the medical bills from the illness that killed me is a great finishing touch. I put this as a writing prompt into an AI algorithm. GPT-2. This is how it continues it. You say, it's like this. Satan says, this is where you're supposed to go. You say, so I'm supposed to be in the ditch with the dead. And Satan says, the dead are not dead, baby. You say, no, you're dead, baby. If you were alive, you'd say, no, I'm not dead. Satan says, you're not alive, so you don't go back. It's a hell, where there's only one thing, God. And it's true, there's no other way. When you're in hell, you're in heaven. You can't be in heaven, you're here to go. You're in the place where no one else will go. And the only people who go there are the ones who've been damned. And I've heard people say, you're a Christian, you want to go to heaven? I say, no, no, what do I want to go to heaven for? It's not heaven, there's no heaven, it's a hell, it's a hell that's not hell. If you don't believe in God, go to hell, we're all in a place where we don't even know where we're going, we're just going there, and I don't know why we're doing this. There's so many people who look at the world and think, oh, God loves this, God loves that, and they think, oh, well, they're bad, it's not good, it's bad. God doesn't love them, God doesn't love us, he can't do anything, he can't do it, he's not good, well, they're bad, but there are so many good, there are so many things that are good, and that's all there is, God loves us, but what does that mean, there's no way we want to let us go, so what you'll say, you know, there's always the next time God wants us to come back, we all know next time God wants you to go, there's always the next time God wants you to come back, and that's just wrong, we can believe that, I know that, but I don't know what it's like to believe that, but, I'm sure that if you go to hell, you'll never come back, 
If you go to heaven, you never will. Dude, it fucking sucked. I tried twice to get away from it, but cocaine and alcohol are pretty nice. You got any of that here? Hopefully, at that point, Satan will show me to my room where a 55 gallon drum of London gin and a small mountain of coke are waiting for me. The Amazon was burning down and Fortnite became shit. Those two things I loved. But hey Minecraft's cool again. I missed it. But still you ruined many things. May I'm dead now I'ma go jack off to some hot demon bitches. Peace. Thank you for watching this fantastic story. Please tap one of the four videos on the screen for another amazing top reddit stories.